Hello, my name is Ben Moisen and today I'm going to make one of my favourite things to eat and that is pulled pork. No smoker is required for this recipe, only an oven and a casserole dish. So, let's begin shall we? Okay, now we're going to make a rub for our pork. So this is a mixture of sugars and spices and all things nices. No. no. To start off with, we're going to add two teaspoons of ground cumin to a bowl. Two teaspoons of smoked paprika. Paprika. Two teaspoons of brown sugar. And then season generously with salt and pepper. And now it's going to mix that all together. Now let's talk about meat. For the pulled pork, uh, I'm using pork butt, which is actually pork shoulder. Uh, so we're using this bit of meat because it's very fatty. And so, you know, fat equals flavor, juiciness, tenderness, we love that. I've got about 750 grams here. Uh, that's quite a lot of meat for four people, uh, but it's gonna shrink down a lot when you cook it. So everything's okay. And now basically what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take our spice oil, which we made earlier, and rub it all over our pork shoulder, and so every nook and cranny is coated. Every crook and nanny. <laughs> okay, at this point you can leave the meat to marinate, if you would like, to let the flavors mingle. Now it's time to cook our meat. Okay, so we've got a nice casserole dish here, and we're just gonna go in with a little bit of oil. Now we're gonna add our meat to the casserole dish and brown it on all sides. Whilst the meat is sizzling away, preheat your oven to 150 degrees Celsius. Well, look at that, brownage. Remember to cook it on the top and the bottom as well, like this. And now we're just gonna add 500 milliliters of chicken stock. We're now gonna add our pork to the oven and let it cook for at least four hours to get it nice and Tender. Now to accompany our pulled pork, I'm going to make homemade coleslaw. Now you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I think this will complement the pulled pork well, you know, nice, cool and refreshing. So uh, just slice the cabbage into shreds using a knife. So I'm just going to transfer the cabbage, the shredded cabbage to a bowl. Okay, so to the cabbage, I'm going to add some stuff. I've got some natural plain yogurt here. I'm just gonna have several dollops, about three tablespoons, but you don't really need to measure it. Okay, that was good to me. We're gonna now season this with a little bit of salt and pepper. And the juice of one lemon. And now we're just gonna mix that all together. We'll put the coleslaw in the fridge whilst we wait for the pork to finish cooking. So now we're gonna prepare our burger buns for our pulled pork burgers. So I've just got four brioche buns here and I'm gonna slice them in half. So now we're gonna toast our brioche buns. So I'm just gonna start off by melting a little bit of butter in a large frying pan. Yoink. Now we're just gonna place the buns in the pan and literally just toast them for like a few seconds. It does not take that long at all. It's very soft. Feel that. Wibble, 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 wibble. I'm just going to transfer this to a bowl and leave the liquid in the dish. Look at that though. Poor pork goodness. That's going to be easy to shred, mate. Easy. Oh my goodness. Look how tender, succulent that is. Mm. Okay, now I'm just going to take two forks and we're going to shred the pork up. This should be very easy. Now we're gonna add a few more flavorings to our whole pork. So I've just got some leftover spice rub from earlier because I couldn't quite use it all. And I'm just gonna add this now to season our meat even more. And now I'm just gonna add a generous amount of barbecue sauce. Maybe, how much? Maybe 100 milliliters, I don't really know though. I'm just gonna eyeball it. I've now got my pulled pork here and I'm just gonna return it to the juices so it stays warm until we're ready to serve up. Try and minimize splashage, splashage, splashage if you can. If that's not a peng munch, then I don't know what it is. Okay, now we are going to assemble our pulled pork burger. So start with the base bun. Take some of the juicy pulled pork, which is which has been sat in this juice. It's gonna take the top bun, arrange it like this, a little artsy, like half on. As you know, that looks trash. Let's have a little bit of slaw on the side. Look at that. 